Why does your ex still want to remain friends with you? Isn't the whole point of being exes that you don't spend time with the person that you were just with? When it came to me and my ex, uh, he wanted to stay friends with me and I was not okay with that after all that we had been through, especially since he was dating somebody new and I was still not over the last relationship. So for me, no thank you. But let's talk about the reasons why your ex may want to remain friends after a breakup, because it's weird. I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why your ex might wanna stay friends with you after a breakup. So the first one's actually kind of the obvious one, and it could be that they actually just want to remain friends. I know sometimes we don't think that's what's really going on. Sometimes we try to look for hidden motivations behind what's going on, but it could be that they just want to stay friends with you. When you're in an intimate relationship with somebody, it's intimate, you know? You get close with somebody. You learn the ins and outs of their lives. You learn their habits. You get used to a routine of being with someone. And it's natural after a breakup to miss somebody, to feel like we want them around, to get back into that routine, to get back to the way that things were. Even if it's not at the same intimacy level, we still have shared memories that we care about and we care about that person. Your ex may still want to remain friends with you because they like you, because that's what drew them into a relationship with you in the first place. There's something about you. Maybe you have shared habits that you like to do together, like shared recreations. Maybe you just have memories that are dear to them and they don't want to lose that. They don't want to lose all of you when they break up with you. There will be some other reasons on this list that kind of help to explain this a little bit further, but it's possible that your ex just wants to stay close to you, just not at the same level that it was with the relationship. Okay, so the second reason why somebody may want to stay friends with you after a breakup, why your ex may want to remain friends with you, not the best reason, but it could be that they just don't want to look like a jerk. Anybody who's been through a breakup knows that it's not easy and it's hard on the people involved, and especially if they're the one who's doing the dumping, your ex is doing the dumping, then they kind of know that's a crappy position to put you in. Usually when two people break up, it's not just like those two people are breaking up, right? It's like all the friends know and the family knows. And so your ex might feel some judgment about making the decision to break up with you. And they don't want to seem like the bad guy, even though people probably already think so. So they may want to stay friends with you to try to avoid some of that negative stuff that gets put on them. And who knows? I don't know what your situation is. It could be that they deserve that negative label. Maybe they really were a jerk, but maybe the attempt at being a friend is a way to try to keep themselves from having to deal with the feelings of guilt around breaking up with you. Related to that, another reason, the third reason why your ex might want to remain friends with you after a breakup is because they might think it's the right thing to do. They could have friends and family telling them what they should be doing and their friends and family might be urging them to stay friends with you because they may have their own reasons. The friends and family might have their own reasons that they want you to stay together, but your ex might feel that pressure of other people judging and they may decide, you know what, maybe it's right for me to stay with my ex to stay friends. It could even be that they looked up advice online or they talked with a therapist or somebody on their path said, you know what, it wouldn't be right of you to leave this person behind, to leave you behind. So they decided because of that, that they wanted to remain friends. Number four, the fourth reason why your ex might want to remain friends is not the greatest one that um, we should be judging on and not one that we should feel like we have the ability to necessarily say is happening or not, but it would be if your ex has a mental illness. I want to be really careful talking about this one because I am not a professional and chances are you're not a professional to know whether or not your ex actually has a mental illness. And a lot of things can look like mental illness that are just normal behavior when you're going through a breakup, so you have to be careful here. The illness that kind of stands out to me is separation anxiety disorder, which is basically when somebody has a hard time being away from one person they kind of see as their rock, as the person that they depend on. Usually we think of separation anxiety disorder as happening with children, but it's definitely something that happens in adults too. And at the end of a relationship where you pretty much are their rock, you are their dependency, um, depending on what your relationship dynamics were like, it's possible that they're feeling separation anxiety, which is kind of normal after a breakup anyway, because our body is designed to feel that way when people break up with us. It's possible that because of symptoms, they want to stay friends with you. And this doesn't just have to be separation anxiety disorder. This could be a lot of different disorders that a lot of different people can suffer with. You know, when you have a mental illness, it's easy to rely on somebody else to help you with that mental illness. And when somebody's moving away, 
especially after a breakup, you may want to pull them in closer and a friendship might be a way to try to save that. So that's kind of about making the breakup easier on them, but the fifth reason is about you. And that's because the fifth reason why they may want to stay friends is because they want to make things easier for you. So as I've said, most people know that going through a breakup is hard and that doesn't exclude your ex. Your ex probably knows that breaking up is hard and they may want to stay friends with you to make it easier on you. Maybe they feel like you have some kind of mental problems like maybe you've told them before and maybe they're not assuming maybe they know maybe they have them themselves and they can relate and they want to stay friends to try to help ease you through this transition experiencing the loss of someone that you love is hard and your ex probably knows this so they may want to transition into a friendship to help ease that loss so it's not like all at once they're out of your life and you know these reasons don't have to be exclusive of each other it could be that they want to help themselves and help you out of this relationship so all of these reasons so far have pretty much been understandable or at least they've been empathetic to what you might be going through but moving forward these are the reasons that probably aren't so great so the sixth reason why they may want to stay friends is that they haven't fully committed to this breakup and why this sucks is because it puts you in a place of not really knowing what's right. What I mean by this is that there's no clarity to what's going on here because your ex may want to be friends with you, but then they're not really sure if it's friendship that they want or do they want friendship with benefits or do they want to have a relationship but they're just not sure if they want the intimacy. So it kind of like leaves things up in the air and makes it really confusing for you to understand what's happening because they're probably not telling you these reasons and you're just trying to figure it out for yourself. Your ex is a human being though and maybe you can relate a little bit to this because maybe you've been feeling sometimes you want to get back together but sometimes you hate your ex and you can't stand them anymore so that could be what's going on. They want to stay friends to kind of test the waters and see what's happening but they haven't committed fully to the breakup. Let's move on to the seventh one. The seventh reason why your ex may want to remain friends is because they just don't want to be alone. Now chances are I'm imagining you don't want to be alone either. It's not the greatest feeling when you've been with somebody maybe every day for years, but you wouldn't, I hope, put your ex through being friends just because you don't want to be alone. This is something that happens though. People have a hard time just being by themselves. This is why people become serial monogamist and date right away and have rebound relationships because of that fear of being by themselves and a friendship might be a way to kind of avoid a rebound relationship in a way but it's not a good way to relate to somebody else because you're using somebody else to keep yourself feeling good. Using somebody else this way is not good for relationships definitely but it's still not great for friendships either so if your ex is doing this, probably not the best behavior, but it's something that happens. So that brings us to the eighth reason. And from here on, these are really bad reasons why your ex might want to stay friends with you. But again, sometimes people do them. And maybe this is an extension of the patterns that happened in your relationship. So pay attention. I don't think that this one happens as much as people believe that it happens. But sometimes your ex wants to stay friends because they like having power over you. Or at least they like feeling powerful. Some people just have personality traits where where that's what they want. They want to feel better than other people. Grandiosity is the personality trait. We usually see it with narcissism. We can also see it in people with antisocial personality disorder. But generally, when somebody wants to have control over you, they're not thinking about you at all. They're just thinking about themselves, or at the very least, they're trying to avoid their self-esteem plummeting, which is something that happens after breakups and is normal. But since they don't want to experience that, they may try to say they want to stay friends with you just because it gives them an ego boost. Now again, I don't think this is what's happening in the most cases, but I just want to put it out there that they may actually enjoy toying with you. So if this is a situation where it feels like it's been going back and forth and this is an extension of the relationship, what happened in the relationship, I think you may want to consider that. All right, so the ninth reason why your ex may want to stay friends is because they want those benefits. And you know what benefits I'm talking about. We do have a system in our body that makes us crave people and somebody that we've been in an intimate relationship with, we're gonna crave them. Probably more often when we're missing them, when things are fresh, when the breakup just happened. So sometimes we say we want to stay friends when really we don't care as much about the friendship. We just want something else. This might be something that you want too, but I would caution here to be careful because when you go in that direction, a lot of 
feelings can come up. A lot of emotions that were buried down can come back to the surface and it can make things really confusing really quickly and the dynamic of the relationship that you have can change very quickly. So even though you're saying that you're friends, things can get complicated and things can get messy and people can get hurt. The tenth reason why your ex might want to stay friends with you is because they want you as a backup. Remember, this goes along with that idea of using people, using people for our own desires. And if somebody wants you as a backup, that means they don't have a plan to be with you right now. They don't really care about your feelings. They just want to stay friends in case something goes wrong with a rebound relationship or in case they have trouble finding somebody else, then they know they can fall back on you. I know some of you out there are like, yes, that's exactly what I want. I want my ex back. Again, I would use caution here because if your ex only wants you as a backup, that means that they're probably not going to commit to you that much if they come back. It means that you were kind of like their second option. It means that they aren't really that invested in making a relationship work with you. So even if they were to come back after having a friendship, it's probably not going to be that much better than it was when you broke up. And if they are one of those people who likes to have power over other people, then you're showing them that you are willing to stick around and wait things out and sacrifice yourself for them. So again, you're really not putting yourself in a great position if you head in this direction with your ex. Everything we've been talking about here though is guesswork. We don't know why your ex wants to remain friends with you. Something that you could do is ask them, but you can't always be confident of whether they're telling you the truth or not, to be honest. They may be, and it may be worth asking. At least you have that information to make decisions with. But remember, people don't always even know what they're feeling and you kind of just have to feel things out for yourself. There's one thing that I recommend that you do do. I do think that it's really important that you ask yourself what it is that you want. Do you want to stay friends with your ex? Is there something more that you're looking for? And is your ex willing to give that to you? You should know that before you ever have a discussion with your ex and thinking about what your ex wants and what they want to do, that's okay. I know that helps you to make decisions, but don't lose yourself while you figure that out. What do you think? Do you think any of these are the reasons why your ex wants to be friends with you? Let me know down below in the comments.